This is a micro lecture on economic rationality as represented by expected utility theory, the quintessence of economic rationality, and it's about the math behind it and using Jensen's inequality to demonstrate risk aversion. So here's the model set up. We have a random variable x with two possible outcomes, x1 and x2. x1 is the smaller of the two values. U is the utility function, the utility you get from x. U is increasing. The more x, the better off you are. And it's strictly concave, and we're going to show that means risk aversion. P is the probability of getting uh, x1. 1 minus p is the probability of x2. So that's the setup. Um, we have to understand mathematical expectation. The mathematical expectation is a weighted average of the outcomes weighted by the probability. So that's the expectation of x, and that's the expectation of u of x. Any lottery is evaluated by its expected utility, so you prefer one lottery to another if the expected utility is higher. So now let's talk about Jensen's inequality in this case. Again, u is strictly concave, and the probability now is strictly between 0 and 1, so we're ruling out certainty. There is definitely randomness here. The conclusion is then the utility of getting um, the expected dollar amount for certain is greater than the expected utility of the lottery. And this is a statement of risk aversion. The person does not like risk. Here's the graph of this. Here's x1, smaller value. Let me go back. Here's x2, the larger value. The expectation of x is somewhere in between. This is the utility of the smaller value. This is the utility of the higher value. The utility of expectation of x is here. And we draw this chord between the two points on the function. And this, what we want to show is that this is the expected utility of x. So the larger triangle has base x2 minus x1. The difference between the two values and the height is u of x2 minus u of x1, the difference in the utilities. The smaller triangle has base expectation of x minus x1, and what we want to do is determine the height of that smaller triangle. Well, expectation of x minus x1 is px1 plus 1 minus px2. That's expectation of x minus x1, which is 1 minus p times x2 minus x1. So the base of the smaller triangle is 1 minus p times the base of the larger triangle. And since the triangles are similar, the heights are also in that proportion 1 minus p. So the height of the smaller triangle is 1 minus p times the difference in the utilities. If you add that height to the original u of x1, what you get with a little bit of algebra, and I'm just going to go through this quickly, is the expected utility of x. And so that shows, in fact, that this height right here is um, the expected utility of x, and that justifies the diagram. Um, now we want to look at three functional forms for you. Constant absolute risk aversion, constant relative risk aversion, and quadratic utility. These are very useful to know. Constant absolute risk aversion is a negative exponential um, with the parameter gamma. And just so we look at the um, absolute risk aversion is measured by this minus the second derivative over the first derivative. And if you do the algebra, you see that that is gamma. So that one is easy. Um, constant relative risk aversion is an exp is a um, x to a power function. Um, and relative risk aversion is minus um, the second derivative over the first derivative. In this case, the exponent alpha is not the measure of relative risk aversion. It's 1 minus alpha, which is the measure of relative risk aversion. Quadratic utility, you should understand, is a quadratic function in the outcome. And it has the value that you can represent utility in terms of the mean and the variance. So variance measures the risk.